Hi guys, welcome back to another episode. Today we're going out smelting, so we're going to get all the stuff that we need. Going to head out into the car, and then we're going to go. Okay, got a tackle box, the rod, and a bucket. The bucket. Got the play knife, just so that way if it gets a little bit, uh, not as much action out there, I can just start uh, cutting them up. So, there's that, we got the bucket. I think that's pretty much all we need. Just the rod, some little bobbers, some little hooks, and that gold jig head that I got the other day. Filet knife, little jig head. This is a glow in the dark one. We are going in the daytime. It's um, 12 o'clock right now. We're headed there from 12 to 6, so that's pretty much what we're going to be doing today. Let's get out on the water. We made it to the spot. My mom just went in there to go and pay real quick. And we're going to head down to the ramp, get on some smelt. Oh, sorry. Hi. It's high right now. You guys, we didn't catch anything yesterday, so me and my mom are going on a solo trip. We're going to go see if we can get in a little shack. Uh, we were supposed to be out there at 6. It's now 6.45, so we slept in a little bit. So we're going to go see if we can get a shack, and hopefully we can get on. Hi guys, today we're going to be learning, or I'm going to be teaching you how to clean a smelt. So I'm going to show you guys how to clean those two, and we'll get right into it. So first, you're just wanna, you're going to want to get a uh, some sort of cut, cutting board or something to cut on, so that way any guts or anything um, that you do got out or anything that you clean out of the fish stays on this you can just wash this after you don't have to wash the whole counter so you can take out the smallest one first okay so we're gonna take this guy first take our fillet knife right here it doesn't matter the brand they're all just little fillet knives so I'm gonna go like this set it down so it's the back is facing the sky or in this case a ceiling I'm gonna come down along this gill plate right here from the top and he's not gonna be able to feel much once you start cutting in you cut through his spine right there so he's done he's done for so you're pretty much just gonna cut down halfway make sure that you're through that spine after um, after you cut about halfway you're going to um, come right here You're going to poke right into that hole and bring it all the way up to the uh, first cut you made up by the neck. It's going to be a little bit tough by these fins uh, right here, but just keep going up all the way up to that cut, and there you go. Next, uh, might need to cut this a little bit more. There we go. Next, what you're going to do, if, if you're squeamish, uh, don't watch this part. You shouldn't even be watching this video. <laughs> um, are you going to stick your finger in here? Let me see if I can get it in the frame. There we go. You're going to stick your finger in there, push the head down. You're going to put your fingernail on that spine, and you're just going to clean it all right out of there. So you're just going to keep pushing, clean it all right out, grab it. And that's it right there. There's some eggs. This guy's still gulping for air. It's all nerves, though. So. There you go. Some people clean that little black piece out, and I think I might this time. Um, 
but that's connected to the spine so it's a little bit harder to do. That's pretty much how you do it and then you just cut all the fins off and then I like to keep as much meat on this tail as I can so I just barely cut the tail off and then just cut it clean through. So there's that right there. Let's get a hold of the next one and I'll show you guys again how to do it. So now we have our guts and the head. There's the meat right there. We're going to clean that out in a little bit. Then I have the tail. And don't always like just waste the tail. This can be bait and bait traps and stuff like that. In this case, I'm going to feed it to my turtles. They really love these things as treats. So there's that right there. And now we're going to get started on this guy. Just to show you again, this one's a bit bigger. He's fully alive. Ready to go. So again, we're just going to follow that gill plate halfway down at an angle. That cut through the spine right there, so he's done. Right there. Bring it down till it's a little bit softer. Next, we're going to come up here to the vent. Cut slow, so that we don't cut too many guts in the stomach and something like that. I believe these are all eggs, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe all of these are eggs or something, I'm not positive, um, but there's that right there, stick your finger up, make sure it's on the spine, and just push everything out, and grab the head, there you go, it's nice and cleaned out, you might want to just clean a little bit more down towards the vent because it tends to get stuck a little bit. But that's pretty much all you do. Then you go to your sink uh, and just wash it out. Like I said, you don't have to take off all this black stuff. It's perfectly fine to eat. Um, I've eaten it many, many times before. So perfectly fine to eat. But some people take it out. But I'm not sure why. But there's that right there. Nice clean smell. I'm just going to wash them off a little bit. Cut these fins off like we did. But this one, that's the aftermath of that one. Everything's cut right off. It's only the meat that's left. So I'm going to go ahead and do that with this one and wash them right off. Okay, I got both my fish right here. So now we're just going to go ahead and, and uh, wash them both off. As you can see, this smaller skinny one and then the thicker one right there. So you want to wash them off, or I usually wash them off with uh, cold water because it... Um, it allows it to stay a little bit more fresh, I guess. You don't want to boil this thing before you even start cooking it or before you freeze it. Um, so I like to use cold water just to clean it out. It doesn't kill as many germs, but I mean, it works a lot better and just to get all this gunk and stuff out. That hot water will also make some of the guts stick and you don't want that so I like to clean clean some of the uh, slime off of them too because you don't want to be eating that um, and you can also dry them off after and that will get rid of some of or some if not most of it so there they are all the pins cut off nice and clean like I said some people cut that black piece out but I'm not going to nice and clean they'll smell Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.